This is difficult terms. Take one. Of all the words in this difficult terms video series, collaboration is perhaps the easiest to understand and yet the most challenging to practice. Collaboration simply means to co-labor. We are called and commanded by God to work together as the body of Christ. It has also been a core aspect of the Lausanne movement from the beginning. Jesus prayed for all the generations of disciples, saying in John 17, Father, may they be one so that the world will know you have sent me. In this, the great prayer of Jesus, he connects our togetherness with our effectiveness. The progress of the gospel in the past 2,000 years has been astounding. Today, there are nearly 2.5 billion Christians worldwide and nearly 5 million churches across thousands of denominations. And yet, with all the resources of the global church, there are still millions of people without access to a complete Bible in their own language. And thousands of villages, towns, and cities without a single church. The percentage of the world population who identify as Christian has been stuck at about 33% for over a hundred years. We were created to be the body of Christ, with all the different parts working together in harmony, and yet our lack of collaboration is a major hindrance, if not the major hindrance, to the advance of the Kingdom of God around the world. There are many obstacles to collaboration and many forces resisting collaboration, interpersonal, organizational, cultural, and spiritual. Where there is no collaboration in ministry, we inevitably find distrust, division, duplication, and ultimately a diminished ability to accomplish the Great Commission. And that is how Satan wants it. Satan wants to see the body of Christ lacking coordination, stumbling over its own feet and poking itself in the eye. We cannot continue as isolated ministries, each doing their own thing. The world is becoming more complex, more interconnected. The situations are too complicated for any one ministry or any one approach alone. In a city, across a country, or around the world, in every place where there is collaboration, there are breakthroughs for the gospel. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 5 through 9, Paul admonishes the Corinthian church, which had become divided, with some saying, we should do things the way Paul does it, and others saying, well, we should do things the way Apollos does it. Paul writes to the church, what after all is Apollos? And what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord has assigned to each his task. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes all things grow. Paul writes that while we may have different callings, different ministries, different approaches, different strengths, we have one purpose. And we are co-laborers, collaborators in God's service. The Greek word for co-laborer or fellow worker used in this passage is the word from which we get our modern English word synergy. And the core idea of synergy is that the combined effort is more than the sum of its parts. We are called to collaborate. It is the only way we can fulfill the Great Commission in our generation and accomplish together as the body of Christ what none of us could do alone.